Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day in Jesus. This is a book that fit the bill. Boy, did it. I had done a video a few weeks ago on Pan and Baphomet illustrations in the King James Version of the Bible, 1611. And a real big King James defender had sent me that. So I began, you know, I've got a, some replicas of the King James floating around here. And sure enough, they were there. So I did a video on why they were there and uh, that type thing. But it, it is pretty shocking. But it has nothing to do with the translation. And, you know, they just put stuff in there at that point. Well, there's conspiracy theories, not just this particular person who Dennis Palmo write against, but others that, you know, King James was this, that, and the other, and he was in secret societies, and there's Masonic handshake in the genealogical sections and just all kinds of stuff. So this particular book is very methodical and goes step by step, totally debunking and destroying those particular theories. And so happened to be on sale just recently from uh, AV Publications, Gail Ripplinger's Publications. As a matter of fact, it was the Lord because there were a couple books, this one and another one by Erasmus that I really wanted. And I think I'd actually mentioned it a couple times in prayer once or twice. And I, uh, I was like, you know, I just really felt like I needed. So then I get this email from AV Publications that the Erasmus set is heavily discounted on sale and if you order it while they had any in stock you got this book free I was like okay Lord I think you're trying to tell me something here so I got it and it's just an absolute fantastic tour de force because again he just goes step by step from different things against the King James Version, basically dealing with the illustrations and the woodcuts and those type things and just say, where did they come from? What does it mean? Is it a nefarious secret society? Did it have something to do with Francis Bacon? Uh, he was the supposed mastermind behind the Rosicrucian Masonic and occult images of 1611, allegedly from Bacon's New Atlantis, which now I used to read Francis Bacon as Novum Organum. I really enjoyed Francis Bacon. Really, it's a forward by Gail Ripplinger in here. The Fallacy of Francis Bacon and his Knights of the Helmet. And uh, we'll just let you see you know two three more pages and this is a thin you know a skinny book but it's tall and i'm assuming that was to get the illustrations in there very well done just the covers excellently done i've heard the name dennis palmu but i really don't know who that is forgive me if i move that too early brother mally i'm going to try to get to where there's some wood cuts here which illustrations and so he just does it very logically so to me if you ever run across a website or maybe you had questions yourself on why this was this book really answers the questions it would be the definitive resource in that the definitive look at that has a response to David Bay's claims says it's 12.95 in the USA. I'm assuming you can just cutting edge lodged in the grave that you can um, you know just google this and find if it's on eBay, Amazon, AV AV publications. I they usually charge a little bit, but they've also got stuff you can't find anywhere else. I've found that out and understand they have to make some money. To. We'll let this be your last picture here. So, you know, you may want to watch this video in conjunction with the Pan Baphomet illustration, the King James version I did several weeks ago, maybe up to a couple months ago now. Um, it got a few views, but uh, 
you may enjoy this. Let's see how many pages this thing is. I really don't know how many pages it is. I was, what was I reading? I was reading a Bill Cooper book. I never realized that the groves mentioned in the Bible, that the term Druid in all probability comes from oak worshipers, the groves, and that they were in the Mediterranean. I just found that fascinating. 105 pages. Um, Bay's attempt to equate the 1611 goat's head with Eliphas, Levi's, Androgynous, Baphomet goat is truly unconscionable. Um, so, there you go. Cutting Edge, Lodge in the Groves by Palmo. 105 pages. Great. Especially on this subject. If you're interested at all in this subject, I, it's the only thing I know of out there. God bless. Talk with you later in Jesus' name.